and just kept up. Now the former England star will play besides manage, and he's got a message for his in men. In this game of football, I've been in it so long, uh, and certain certain players eventually I've seen it go go creep into their uh, careers that they think they can just switch it on and off like a light. And it doesn't happen like that. You have to be mentally... I mean, you know, you're only asking the lads an hour and a half, two hours a day of training to switch their minds in. The rest of the day, they got free. So when we work, we work hard and we work uh, for a reason. New Hoddle signings are bearded striker David Mitchell from Chelsea and defender Sean Taylor at £200,000 from Exeter. <laughs> Well, last night, Swindon came out hoping to build on their unbeaten run of pre-season matches and a crowd of 7,000 to see them take on the Spanish First Division side and to see Glenn Hoddle there in his new sweeper role. Well, Hoddle's side was to build their attacks often enough, but not with the sharpness to beat a defence organised by Real's manager, John Toshak, once of Swansea and Wales. Hoddle showed his class with a neat interception and then a nice early simple pass, wasting no time, letting Hazard build and release Kersley. And though Shearer is to get the ball in the Spanish net, the effort was to be ruled offside. Real found the first goal when their corner kick is only half cleared. And that allows Xavier to pick a through pass that finds Lumbreras. He does it nice and neatly now, accurate ball, and Beloso finishes adroitly for a 1-0 half-time lead. Real's second goal from a Martinez cross, and then watch the way Perez finishes Swindon with a Matador flourish. Swindon naught, Real Sociedad 2. Muy bien, Real, and that is the sport. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. Hasta mañana. Despite Swindon's 2-0 defeat. But as David Passmore reports, while Swindon's footballers were caught by the style of the Spaniards, the club's administrators were caught out by the popularity of the game. More than 7,000 fans arrived. The club had been expecting less than half that. The game had to be delayed for 15 minutes to let them all in. The problem was made worse by a price increase from £5 to £5.50 and the turnstiles ran out of 50p pieces for change. It's just crazy. What's going on? Is it usually as bad as this? No, never. Past two seasons we've been here, season ticket holders, never as bad as this. Never like this at Wembley. Never any, any sort of game has ever been like this. The club no longer provide matched stewards. They employ an independent company who were on duty for the first time last night. Swindon deny that the stewards were at fault. They simply had no idea so many fans would turn up. Nothing whatsoever to do with stewarding system. We've had compliments from the police, from the supporters, everybody well pleased on the way the new system's being run. In the game itself, manager Glenn Hoddle showed many class touches as he controlled the game from the back. There was a nervous moment when he fell awkwardly after half an hour and injured his shoulder, but continued after treatment. The Spaniards are managed by John Toshak, Hoddle described them as a class side, but it was Swindon striker Duncan Shearer who got the ball in the net for the first time. But the goal was disallowed as offside. Real Sociedad didn't make the same mistake. Javier Beloso, the scorer. Beloso missed two similar chances in the second half, much to the relief of Swindon. But Luis Perez didn't slip up when he shot through a static Swindon defence from close range. Afterwards, Hoddle said he expected to continue playing. I've proved to myself that I've got physically fit. If my knee holds out, then obviously it would be silly, I think, not to use myself for a few years.